Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to show you guys a Weight Watchers recipe. It is a healthy version of banana bread. I add a little bit of chocolate chips to mine but if you do not add the chocolate chips it ends up only being two smart points for one miniature loaf. So let's go ahead and get started and show you guys how to make this. Alright guys, so first let's go ahead and get our oven preheated to 350 degrees. Alright guys, so let's get started. I am going to use up all the bananas that I have that are old. I just got a new bunch today. Let me move those out of our way. So to begin with, I'm going to take all of those bananas, go ahead and get them out of their skin here. So I find it easier when they're so ripe. I like to cut the ends. Makes it a little bit less messier and just a little bit easier to get out. And you see these bananas are extra, extra overly ripe. Sorry guys, I just had to go get the trash can real quick. Makes it a little bit easier to have that trash can right next to you, especially when you're messing with something so messy as these ripened bananas. I really enjoy making this banana bread because one, it is point friendly, and for two, it helps me use up any bananas that are about to go to waste, which if you've watched any of my previous videos, I have one of a pantry challenge that we have been doing, and I comment saying that we are trying to be less wasteful. As you see, this banana looks like it should go in the garbage, but it will work perfectly fine in our banana bread. It will give it a lot stronger flavor no sense of throwing it away when we can use it for this. Doesn't look very pretty, but I promise you guys it is perfectly fine. All right, so I put four ripe bananas in our bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and take a fork and mash those up. That really black one, of course, is a lot easier to mash because it is so soft by that point. And you can really smell that one too. It gives it a strong sugar alcohol smell. guys I think that's about good they're nice and mashed up next we need our Kodiak cakes excuse me I use the buttermilk so we are going to need let's see we use four bananas so we are going to need one full cup of the Kodiak cakes so I prefer to measure things out using my kitchen scale over here so I'm just checking to see how many grams it is. So for half a cup, it is 53 grams. Hopefully you guys can see that if the camera focuses. I don't think it's going to. I apologize for that. So we are going to need 106 grams of the Kodiak cakes. So I'm just going to take our fork out here. Put that on, turn the scale on, and turn the unit to grams, which it automatically already is. So let me go ahead and start to put my 106 grams in of that. Alright guys, I ended up going just a little bit over. I went to 108, which 2 grams is not going to make that big of a deal. Alright guys, next we are going to put 
four eggs into the mix. And I'm gonna grab a small bowl just to whisk those in so they're not so hard to incorporate. All right, now that those are broken, I'm just gonna use my same fork that I mashed my banana with and just whisk up those eggs a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and pour those in. All right. And next we're going to put, I don't measure it out, I just sprinkle some ground cinnamon in. And then we are going to need four teaspoons of vanilla. I've got my one teaspoon here. So we're going to need four of those. I have two bottles of vanilla out because I'm just trying to finish up this bottle, which there's only the tiniest little bit in there. Just go ahead and pour it out in and open up my new one. Meanwhile, while I'm trying to get this open, if you guys have any Weight Watchers friendly recipes, please leave them down in the comments. I love always making new recipes. It's always nice to try something different. All right, so there's one, two, three. And I'm not gonna fill this one completely just because of the little bit we already put in. So there is four teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we are going to mix this up. And go ahead and take this off the scale. We don't need that any well. I will use it for my chocolate chips. You don't have to add chocolate chips in there. Um, I like to add chocolate chips in it. It just gives me that little sweet treat sometimes. So the chocolate chips that I found that I feel are the most inexpensive but also Weight Watchers friendly is from Aldi. I'm gonna show you those while I let that sit for a second. It is Baker's Corner 60% cacao dark chocolate premium morsels. They are bigger. They are, you know, they are very good size pieces. If you guys can see that. Um, let me see if I can find something to compare that to so you guys get more of an idea. All right, guys. Closest thing I could find was a penny. So there is to give you a comparison of the size. They are very big and pretty decent thickness as well. So let me continue to stir this up a little bit. You don't want to over mix it. Just mix it up to where it's incorporated good. I'm trying to get all of the um, Kodiak cake mix off the side as well as the cinnamon that's stuck there a little bit. All right guys, and I'm going to go ahead and add chocolate chips into all of mine. So again, I'm gonna use my scale for that. It is showing that one serving is one tablespoon, which is 15 grams. So I am going to put, trying to decide here how many I want to put. I don't know. Let's see how it looks as I put it in. So I'm just a little over a serving right now. I think I'm going to add in a little bit more. I think that's good enough. I don't want to overdo it. So I'm, let's see, I'm just a few over being two servings. I want to incorporate those in. I think they will be good and yummy. Let me take this scale off again. All right, guys. And what I use for these is my mini loaf pan. Here that is. It is by the brand Wilton, which makes many of baking products. So we are going to go ahead and spray that. I just use my Costco cooking spray just to oil it up a little bit. 
And there is the beep saying that our oven is preheated. Turn you guys around so you can see. I'm just bringing a little bit in here so they don't stick. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and divide my mix up here. So I think I'm adding a little bit more than I had planned to. I think this last one's going to be a little bit on the small side. We'll see. I'm going to grab a spoon to get out any little bit I can at the bottom to help try to even out that last one. It's short by just a little bit, but I want to make it as even as possible just so I am more accurate on my smart points. I think that looks pretty good guys. So here is what it looks like. Let me get you an up close view. So this is what they look like. I'm going to throw them in the oven. I have never timed them before, but I will go ahead and time them for you guys just so you have an idea of how long it takes. I normally just take a toothpick and poke them to see if there's any residue on the toothpick. So I will update you guys. Alright guys, here they are finished. So I went ahead and timed how long I cooked them. I cooked them for 30 minutes on, like I said at the beginning, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is the finished product. So I absolutely love eating these. They help with the sweet tooth that I do have because of the little bit of chocolate that I added in. Um, they are, I calculated the points while they were cooking. For the whole one full loaf, it comes out to five smart points. But if you cut that loaf in half, it is only two smart points, which is amazing considering it's got chocolate in it and it is very, it just hits that spot for me. I really enjoy it. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you guys try it. If you do, please let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it or not. Um, and if you have any suggestions on any other recipes, I would love to hear those as well. And until next time, guys, bye.